Vivado Design Suite is the de facto software for hardware design for Xilinx FPGAs. Uh, it combines features from multiple pre-existed software such as Xilinx, IEC, Plan Ahead, and Platform Studio. Over the years, Vivado has grown a lot and in this tutorial series, we explore the software in detail for efficient FPGA implementation. In the first video, uh, I will discuss about setting up the software in both Windows and Linux, Ubuntu distribution, and licensing. So Vivado is a free software to some extent, but for supporting uh, certain high-end FPGAs, uh, we will need a license. So the possibility of getting a full license for free, uh, I will discuss in the next tutorial. So in order to download Vivado, first we need to create an account in Xilinx website. So this is very straightforward in most countries, except for certain countries where US export restriction exists, uh, such as Russia, uh, some of the serious countries, Iran, etc. So in this tutorial, we will be using Vivado 2019.2 version. Uh, the latest is called 2020.1. So to download, uh, after creating your account, you can go to products and Vivado design suite, HLX edition, and you can just choose download Vivado and choose the version from here. Depending upon your operating system, you can either download it for Windows or for Ubuntu. Okay, And there is an option to download a single file, but it's quite huge, more than 26 GB. Uh, so better will be to download this self-extracting web installer, which will install it for you. So now I am downloading it for Windows. Uh, you can do the same for Ubuntu also. During installation, you will have to give your username and password once again. Uh, you have option to install it directly from the web or download the image separately and install it. So the image is going to be quite huge. So better will be to download and install now option. And we are going to install Vivado. These are other software from Xilinx for different purpose. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use the free version of Vivado. So we can choose a Vivado HL Webpack. But I will show you how to do licensing if you have a license for the design or system edition also. Here you can choose the target FPGA devices. So Webpack, the main limitation is it doesn't support all the FPGA devices. So you can see in the Silence website, uh, the comparison between the different ones. The web edition, it doesn't support Vitax 7 devices. So if you're using high-end FPGA boards like VC707 or VC709, uh, you will need a license. But if you're using development platforms like uh, Zboard or Zybo, things like that, uh, the free version will do. Okay, so better to choose only the required FPGAs. And this doc now will install all the documentation which is quite huge so i'm unchecking that also so now you can see the size is around 11.42 gb and you just install it depending upon your internet speed it may take a few hours for the installation to complete once installation is over you can see actually it installed two software uh, vivado and vivado hls so vivado hls is used for high level synthesis to convert your c or c plus plus code into hdl that we will discuss in a separate series in the future it will be good to add the path to the software to your system path because we will be using some command line operations in the future so if the installer hasn't done it automatically you have to go to the installation directory which will be usually in c and you go to bin folder and there you will be able to see vivado okay so you take this path and add it to your system path. Here is path, so create a new one and add the path to bin. And you can launch it anytime by using this shortcut or from your start button under Xilinx design tools and Vivaro. Or you can launch it from your command prompt also once it is configured in the path. You can just type Vivado and it will launch Vivado from here. On Ubuntu platform, first of all, you need to change the mode of this installation file. So mode 777. After that, you can install it, but you'll have to give sudo level access for installing the software. The remaining steps, they are exactly same as the one used for Windows.
Here you will see the cable drivers which will be finally used for programming the board is not installed in Ubuntu at this stage. It has to be installed separately and that I will be discussing later. And we usually prefer to install in the opt directory, the optional directory. I already have it installed, that's why the error is happening. After that, you click next and installation will start. Now to launch Vivado on Ubuntu, first of all, we are expected to source a settings file, which will be in the installation directory, opt signings, Vivado, this uh, shell script. And after that, if you type Vivado, it will launch Vivado. It may be inconvenient to source this script each time you want to launch Vivado. So to avoid it, you can add that source line either to your Basha sys file or to the dot profile file. So you go to your home if it is hidden, press Ctrl H and go to dot Basha C and you just add that line towards the end. So now onwards, each time you launch your shell, it will automatically launch the script. And if you type Vivado, it will be automatically launched. To use Vivado Web Edition, you don't need any additional licensing. But if you have purchased your license or you have received a license as part of a Silinx board, uh, you can generate a license and you can use the Vivado System Edition or Design Edition. So in order to generate the license, the easiest way is to go to help after opening Vivado and choose manage license. It will list all your current licenses and you can choose obtain license and choose connect now. So it will be opening the licensing website of Silinx. You can also directly type silinx.com slash get license to reach the licensing website. Now here you have to log in again. If you received a license code as part of your signings board, you can enter the code here and you can choose redeem now and you can generate the license. If you have purchased license or if you need a 90 days full evaluation license, uh, that will be listed here. For example, I have full license here uh, for the Vado Design Suite. So you can choose whichever license you want. Uh, you can choose whether floating license or not locked license. If you are using this for individual purpose, it will be better to choose not locked license. You choose that, then you will have to give the details of your computer where you want to use Vivado. Okay, so this license is locked to a particular system and you cannot use it across multiple systems. If you are generating the license for first time for a particular computer, you will have to enter the details of that computer. For example, you have to give some name to that. Uh, let me call it my tutorial computer. You have to specify the OS. That really doesn't matter because the license file is exactly the same for Windows as well as Linux. And after that, you will have to give either the Ethernet Mac or the ID of your hard disk. If it is Windows, you will have multiple options. So to get the Ethernet Mac, again, uh, one way is if you come to the host information here, he will list uh, all the information. For example, this is my Mac ID. Or on Linux, you can type if config and you will be able to get the MAC ID, which is this one. And you can choose add. Now my host is already added. That's why he's showing an error. In your case, you will be able to add your host. This was my original host name. So I have chosen it now, but you will enter a new one. Uh, click next and again next, and it will generate the license for you. And that license you'll be able to see under manage license here. So you choose that license and you click download here. And the license will be also emailed to you automatically by signing. After downloading it, you come back to your license manager and choose load license and browse and show the license file that was just downloaded. Okay. So that will be a file with .lic extension. And you can see the license status here. So you can see like I have the latest full license currently installed. But don't worry if you don't have license, you will be able to do everything with the free version available. 
the steps for generating license it's exactly same for uh, windows also so in the next tutorial i will discuss about the silex university program through which it might be possible to get a full license and it may be even possible to get free evaluation boards so see you in the next tutorial